In partnership with the University of Washington and Seattle Pacific University, we actually tested brain rule number five, repeat to remember, in real classrooms of third graders. Here's the story. For years we've had brain researchers doing their thing and we've had educators doing their thing and the two sides really haven't worked together. They haven't uh, really joined forces for the benefit of kids. I was very interested in the idea of brain development and how that related to learning. Anything I can do to understand how my kids learn helps me to become a better teacher. Just knowing your basic facts is pretty declarative. Of course we want the kids to understand the conceptual pieces to be able to deeply think about what's going on. But at some point, three times four is just 12, just because it is, you know. The experiment went like this. We ended up with 10 classrooms of third graders involved in this study. And they would go through the normal unit during their math class time. Then within, I believe it was 120 minutes, because that's what the, the brain rule says it needs to be within a time frame, they would receive additional instruction um, revolving around the basic math facts. We learned a lot of stuff about how our brains function and about memory in doing this study. It was true that the time between the original lesson and the repeat lesson mattered, that the 90 to 120 minutes mattered. Found out kids in the research classrooms did better on average, statistically significantly better, 14% um, bump in those kinds of scores, uh, which to us says that this kind of repetition in the afternoon um, where they do a little extra math uh, really will make a difference for kids when it comes to you know, declarative knowledge. I think that's really powerful and I think something like brain research, the fact that this was done by researchers will speak highly to other teachers to get involved because I think all too often you're like, well, yeah, 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 but does it really work for kids in real classrooms? We now have results that say, yeah, we really think it does work for kids in real classrooms.